This summer was the hottest on record in Europe, according to data from EU satellite monitoring. A series of extreme heat waves and a long-running drought saw June, July, and August shatter the previous high mark for temperatures. Even though we are in what is traditionally considered the rainy season here in Grenada, this past few weeks, we have been experiencing extremely high temperatures. Medical doctor Francis Martin advises people what they should do to avoid any form of complication. He notes persons most likely to be affected. The heat that has been experienced these days and the rising temperature that we have put people at increased risk of having some specific physiological conditions. People who are at the extremes of ages are much more vulnerable. So here we're talking about babies, children, and elderly folk. The two most important and common symptoms that they feel are dehydration and heat exhaustion or heat strokes. You'd find that both ages uh, are at risk of this. Dr. Martin is advising people to keep hydrated by increasing one's fluid intake, especially water and minerals avoiding long exposure to hot temperatures as much as possible, and to carry umbrellas when venturing out. Because of dehydration, and because during dehydration we lose minerals, especially that of salt, it is important that we replace those fluid. We don't just replace water, we also have to replace minerals, example, sodium. So you need to increase your water intake, but you also need to increase other drinks that helps you to replace those minerals. And here we're talking about things like coconut water, um, other juices, um, cane juices, um, where you get good sodium from. Um, for those who are interested in getting sports drink here, the mineral constituents of these things can also be good for you. Um, and for babies and children, you probably would not want to use sports drink, but regular fluid, regular water and juices is just as good for them. A word of caution for persons who may have underlying conditions. If you have underlying conditions, make sure you take your medical the medicines because there are some medication like blood pressure medication that can cause you to lose water as well. So elderly folks and persons with high blood pressure and diabetes, especially kidney failure as well, are at high, high risk because they are already taking medicines that is causing water to be drawn from their body anyway. And so the high temperature puts them at even more uh, uh, risk of heat exhaustion and dehydration. So they must be very careful to replace the water that they're using. And if you so do, you will be able to get through this high temperature with no problems at all. Christina John, GBN News.